You know, uh, I think we saw a clip there of Steven Seagal, and he was probably one of the more unique guys I met. Let me tell you a little bit about Steven Seagal. So we did an interview at the beautiful Phoenician Resort in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, it's a 45 degree day, piping hot, and we're in the penthouse suite. And Seagal rocks up to the interview and he's two hours late, mind you, and he gets out of his car and he's like, I'm, I'm so sorry I'm late. I had some special international diplomacy phone calls to make, but I can't tell you about it. It's top secret business, but I'm sorry I'm late. It's like, okay, Stephen. And he gets out of this car that's a black SUV that looks like something Elon Musk designed because <laughs> this SUV, MK, we were told, had bulletproof windows and a bulletproof frame, but the frame could also, according to Seagal, sustain an RPG attack, a rocket propelled grenade attack, wow. okay? And in the case of a chemical attack or a gas nerve attack against Stephen, it could be hermetically sealed. So Stephen essentially would be sealed and protected in the car while the gas and chemicals dissipated outside because apparently someone might instigate a chemical attack against Stephen Seagal. So we, we go upstairs to the interview area and Stephen walks in. And as you know from, from your show here, it takes a while to set up the set on any interview show. And our producers and lighting guys will take two or three We've hours. We've got one of those things on your seat. It comes out and, uh, you know. Hermetically seals me because I demand it in my diva list of backstage. Course. Of course. It has we to don't be want done. you getting I'm, uh, I'm sealed. I'm protected. <laughs> but Stephen walks into set and all of a sudden he wants to change the lighting. You know, this light's too oh. tall and this light's too low. And you've got to shadow half my face and make my hairline lower. So our producer had to rearrange everything. And then my, my, my sound technician is going and putting on his, his lapel microphone, this little thing here, and he's going and putting it on. And he's got this strange look on his face, our, our, our microphone guy. And he comes over to him and he goes, voice, I've got to tell you something. I go, what is it? He goes, Seagal's wearing a bulletproof vest. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, under his shirt, he's wearing a, a bulletproof vest. I'm like, what's, that's kind of weird. It's 45 degrees outside. <laughs> Guy's wearing a Kevlar. And he's got these hunting glasses on, which I wouldn't let him wear for the, for the show. I, I forced him to take them off so people could see his beady eyes mm. and eventually took off these, these hunting glasses. The interview's about to start. And in the background is Stephen's bum bag. He's got a, a fanny pack, they call it in America, a bum bag. <laughs> so I, I wave to my producer and say, move the bum bag out of shot. And my producer picks up the bum bag and Stephen's like, sir, be very, very careful. There are many dangerous things in there that if you drop it, could kill us all. So my producer carries this bum bag like Indiana Jones handling the gold idol of the Havitos natives in Indiana Jones, you know, carries the bum bag out of shot. And he comes up there and he goes, Seagal's got five handguns at least in the bum bag. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? Stephen goes to get makeup from our makeup artist. And mind you, our makeup artist has a normal American accent, but she makes the mistake of telling Stephen she's of a Jamaican background. So all that day, Stephen does a really bad Rastafarian accent whenever he talks to her. Throughout the entire day, he wouldn't drop it. Sounds like he's auditioning for Cool Runnings. You know, and whenever Stephen speaks, he speaks in this half whisper. It's like it is in the movies. It's like the NSA is perched in the air vents recording everything he says. It's really, really strange. And during the whole interview, he would look off camera to a space like over there where there's no one there. And so I'd be like, what, what do you keep looking at? And he's always very twitchy, very nervy, you know, and he's a big boy, six foot five and, and really thick. And, and um, he's one of those guys that you, you just don't quite know what you're getting. You can really drill deep into his psyche and you don't know if you're going to get buried treasure or if your drill bit's just going to shatter into a, a thousand pieces. So out of all the guests that I met during the show, uh, Steven Seagal was probably the most unique one of all.